Well, hello there. How are you doing today? Do you feel like taking a trip, maybe browsing through Dollar Tree with me today? Well, come on in. Let's go take a look. What do I have going on for you for today? The holidays are rapidly approaching us. This is my absolute favorite time of year at Dollar Tree because I always like to see what new items they come out with. So let's go take a look in Dollar Tree. Let's see if anything inspires me and what you too should be keeping your eyes open for. Yeah, let's go. Jumping on into this right out the gate, I am seeing these yarn ball containers with a hole here in the top. Yeah, I feel like these are amazing. I am loving that Dollar Tree and Crafter Square has come out with these. For those of you who knit, crochet, whatever, you know that those balls can unwind. And so I think that these are a great new item. Crafter Square has these pom-pom makers. I've been using these often. This yellow one is a good size. Put these in your stash. I'm also loving that my Dollar Tree has now made this whole section of vinyl that is great for not only the Crickets, but they've got stuff for the Cricket Joy as well. Vinyl can be used for a lot of different things other than the Cricket, but since I do have one, I love that they have got a rainbow and a plethora of colors. They've also got a full stock of the leather, which I need a couple of these for some DIYs coming up. But I just love that they've got a ton of different colors. They're budget friendly in this vinyl. It's workable, it's doable, it gets the job done and there's a ton of tools as well. Crafter Square also has this polyfill now, this fiber fill for stuffing things, great for making maybe those crochet yarn animals for whatever your filling needs are. They've also got this fusible interface now. Are you kidding me? Such great finds for $1.25. You cannot beat that. So I'm gonna pick up a couple of these, put them in my stash. I'm also seeing these new canvas tote bags with the zipper. These are great for personalizing with some of that vinyl and gifting. I will tell you that the blue and the red bag and that tan one, you cannot iron on. The tan one, you can put a regular vinyl on, but the red and blue, yeah, don't even try. Crafter Square is also coming out with these earring finding kits. They've got everything you need to DIY your own earrings with some of the beads that you will find at Dollar Tree as well. I found these in the silver and gold. Great new additions. I'm also seeing these larger size wood easels that would make a great gift idea when combined with say maybe a canvas panel with a picture on it. Yes, we're gonna DIY our way through Christmas this year. My Dollar Tree has fully stocked all of the DIY wood blanks. They are ready for people to come in, pick up these blanks and DIY some gift ideas. I saw these new glass candle holders and I am loving, got my eye out for more. These look like something, maybe a frosty, so cute. If you wanna decorate and add a little Christmas feel to your chairs, these chair covers at Dollar Tree for $1.25 are a great addition along with these chair pads. I found them in two different styles, the poinsettia and let's look, yep, this cute Christmas tree and present one. Such a fun, cheap, budget-friendly way to add some Christmas decor to your table. Along with table, I am seeing um, a bunch of new dish sets. I am kind of loving this one a lot. If I didn't have a dish set already, I would probably pick this one up. These chargers are a must-have. Look at how beautiful they are. But these plates, man, I am loving it. But you know what I love even more is that Dollar Tree didn't just come out with one Christmas set this year. Oh, no, they didn't. Yeah, that bowl is super cute. They really have come out with a whole set and a whole line of holiday dishware. Those tumblers are super cute. They came out with a green set as well. I have never seen this. This is new to my Dollar Tree this year. Oh my goodness, so elegant. Kind of got away from 
the handmade quilted look of that last set and is going to a more classic Christmas tree set. Look at how cute that plate is. Oh my goodness, I am loving these. But if you like the more modern look, maybe the silver, they've got you covered with that too. This snowflake silver and white set has such a modern feel to it with the silver charger and kind of the blank plate, but I am loving this snowflake charger. It is everything. More of the new finds. How about these solar decor lights that look like the Christmas light bulbs? I found them in four different colors, four or five. I found them in red, green, blue, and yellow, so four. They've got the hook on them so they are easy to hang. I'll be using these this year. And some fun solar stakes. I was looking for the light ball solar stakes when I looked up here and saw these. Gotta be honest, these kind of have an egg feel to them. I'm not feeling these for light bulbs. They are, but they aren't. If you don't have room for a huge tree, Dollar Tree's got you covered with the mini tree items. Oh my goodness, they have really expanded on the ornaments and the selection that they are giving you for mini trees, really allowing people who don't have room for a big tree or maybe live in an RV to have a fun festive tree as well. They've got some cool tree skirts and oh my goodness, I am loving this galvanized aluminum tree skirt. I'm picking up three of these. On the cleaning aisle, I am seeing this new cleaner pad. It says it's a mop, but I feel like because it's got the squeegee on it, these would be perfect for cleaning your windows with. I don't like these as a use of a mop because that sponge isn't um, replaceable. You can't take it off and clean it. In the tool section, Dollar Tree's got these new hand lights. Can I tell you, these are super bright. I picked up three of them to put in my sheds that don't have lights in them. In the tool section, I am also seeing that Dollar Tree is now carrying deck screws, wood screws, drywall screws. They are coming in several different sizes. This is a deck screw at three inches. We've got this wood screw. This is one and a half inches and the one next to it, I wanna say is one and a quarter inch. So they've got them in several different sizes. You're getting 50 screws in each pack. This is drywall screws. One and a quarter is a great size to have. And I'm seeing some that are even as large as, what is this? Yeah these wood screws that are three inches. Those are a bit big for my taste, but nonetheless, I am loving that they are expanding on their tool section. And yep, they now have space tape. Space tape in a two foot roll. Space tape is a super great mounting tape. It is a double-sided tape and it is easy to remove. Along with that space tape, you're gonna find some self-adhesive carpet in three or four different colors. They've got the beige, they've got the black, they've got the dark gray and the light gray and kind of a muted gray as well. Pretty cool. Stocking stuffers are great to look for right about now. These gel, gel nail soap caps that come in a 10 pack, two different colors, that are reusable or you can use these foil remover wraps Great to add to stockings along with these nail art glitter sets. They've got some two packs here that are fun to add to your nail polish or they've got the single packs. You've got some beads, you've got some snowflakes. I picked up these for Allison and more beads in several different colors. Great additions to a stocking. If you're into astrology, they've rolled out their 2024 astrology books in every, um, yeah, pick one up. If you've got an elf that's coming to visit you, maybe pick up a lip balm for your elf to give as a fun treat or a fun gift to your little one. Dollar Tree now has Plant Box. Plant Box is a pretty well-known brand name. Plant Box is a non-toxic stainless steel container. It looks like this. It's great for dressings and dips. Kayla's got a few of them, and I tell you, we paid more than $1.25 for them. Keep your eye open for these tumblers. These tumblers are fun to pick up. I pick up about five or six of them, kind of stuff them with some fun treats, maybe some socks for Allie to give to her friends at school. Fun little gifts to give that you can give 
on a budget and they're useful. Kids love stuff like this. Another item that I love in the kitchenware section are these bowls, these glass bowls that have lids that are perfect for dips and dressings around this time of year. My Dollar Tree has fully stocked all of their glassware. There are so many fun gift ideas that you can do using glassware, so pick some up at Dollar Tree. Maybe think about picking up these soda bottles and doing this with them. Today, have I got a gift idea that you are going to love. It is a DIY extract. We need bottles to make an extract. Guess what? Dollar Tree has these bottles. These, I want to say, are like a soda pop bottle. Look at this. The top pops right off, so you're going to get a nice, good seal, and you can easily, yep, just with the spring clamp. The first one, I'm going to be making a cinnamon extract, one of my favorites. This is a pack that you're gonna get for under $5 at just about any grocery store. You can put the whole sticks in this bottle. Now if the sticks are a bit too big and they don't wanna fit, oh, that one will fit. Come on, get in there. Well, see, this one doesn't fit. Go ahead and don't be afraid to break it in half. Come on, Kelly, break it. It might make a bit of a mess, but don't worry about all those slivers. That's where all the cinnamon goodness is. You can go ahead and pop that in there. You're gonna need three whole cinnamon sticks for a jar this size, and this is a 16 ounce jar. Fun fact, extracts are made of an alcohol. Typically, they are made using vodka, but they have been known to be made with bourbon or even a rum. If you are somebody who is a bit uncomfortable making them with an alcohol, here is a recipe that is non-alcoholic that you can do using a food grade glycerin. I've never made one that way, so it's something you're gonna have to Google and research today. Yep, I am. I'm doing it using vodka because I've always used an extract and I've never had a problem with it. And vodka is very budget friendly. You can get one liter for $9.99 at Walmart. And so buying two of them for 20 bucks was enough for me to make seven extracts. I'm going with a very inexpensive one because budget friendly is the name of this game. There is no need to spend extra money where you don't need to. I'm gonna use this measuring cup because it's got a real easy spout on it. Now, when filling your bottles with whatever alcohol it is that you've chosen to make your extract out of, you're gonna wanna make sure that you fill it enough that it completely covers your cinnamon sticks, and you're gonna wanna go about an inch higher than the sticks themselves. Now, this is gonna help with preventing mold. You don't want mold to grow, so you really need whatever, I guess, item it is that you're filling your jars with, whatever extract it is that you're making to be fully covered. Initially, you'll see that your cinnamon sticks are kind of floating at the top, but as they sit in the alcohol, they will get heavier and they will sink to the bottom. Who doesn't love a vanilla extract? We all use that one, right? You're gonna need vanilla beans, but vanilla beans in the store are very pricey, so your best bet is to get them on Amazon. I got a 10 pack of vanilla beans for $15 with next day shipping. I ordered these on the 10th, I got them the next day on the 11th. Now. In the store, you're gonna get one vanilla bean for about $13 and that's at Walmart. So yeah, yikes. Why not order them online and make a bunch? This is the vanilla bean itself. You're gonna wanna take a sharp knife and you're gonna wanna slice it down the middle, exposing, I guess, the vanilla bean flavor that is inside. There are seeds in there. There is just vanilla yumminess in there. And so once you get them good and sliced, now you don't wanna go all the way through cutting them in half. You just wanna slice it down the middle, opening up that bean. Once you open it up, you are gonna see all, like I said, that yummy goodness, the vanilla bean yumminess that you want to extract. Look at that, yeah. That stuff there can easily be scraped out with a knife. Now there are two ways of making this vanilla extract. You can scrape out all the inside of each of the beans, then just place it in the bottle there, or you can just simply place the bean in its entirety into the bottle itself. 
Now, if you do it that way, placing the full bean in the bottle without cutting it and scraping the inside out, the shelf life to make the extract is going to take longer. It takes longer to extract the vanilla flavoring from the bean when you do it that way. So I say just slice your bean, scrape out the insides, and then you are going to place these beans inside the bottle after you've scraped them. And the shelf life for extracting the vanilla from these beans is only about six to eight weeks versus six plus more months. Yes, I said months by not cutting it. So yeah, take the extra step and just cut them. And so again, just like we did with the cinnamon sticks, I'm gonna add the alcohol and that is all there is to making extracts, if you can believe it. Now, you are gonna wanna make sure that your vanilla beans are fully submerged in the alcohol because again, you don't wanna risk any mold getting in there and if they are not submerged in the alcohol it will happen where should you store your vanilla extract well it's best stored in a cool room temperature in a dark place which means your pantry is probably the best spot for it you don't want to store it in your refrigerator because it will turn cloudy go dig into your ribbon stash pull out one of your favorites this is perfect this is in my stash and i'm going to pull out some craft paper Craft paper is this cardboard looking paper that I feel really gives things that handcrafted homemade feel when you use it for labels. Now, Dollar Tree has these crates. I wanted to add just a bit of ribbon to it to dress it up a bit. I didn't feel like staining it this time. What a fun way to gift two of them if you use the oil and vinegar bottles. How cute is that? What a fun way you add some saran wrap to it or that shrink wrap. For the larger bottles, I use the drawer inserts, and look at that, it fits the larger bottle perfectly. Just kind of adding that homemade finishing touch to it, dressing it up just a bit. I love these, let's take a look at all of them. Can I just tell you the excitement is real when I do a DIY like this and I bring it to you? because it is such a fun gift to give that I guarantee anybody is going to look at you and be like, wow, that is really cool. I love this. And they've probably never received one like this. I made myself a whole set of these extracts that I can't wait to use in about eight weeks. Now you are gonna wanna make sure and tell that special someone to shake those bottles every couple weeks just to kind of get everything incorporated together, mixing together. You will see a color change in the vodka that is completely normal. And your sticks and your vanilla beans will not mold as long as the alcohol is covering them. Now back to our regularly scheduled program of the new finds at Dollar Tree. A few months ago, everybody was raving about these refrigerator essentials that really help organize and maximize the space that you can use in your refrigerator. I picked up this egg one. We just got them at my Dollar Tree. I gotta say, wasn't impressed. The picture of the eggs, they show it that way because when it is closed, the, I guess the top really stick up in the shelf or in your refrigerator. And I just wasn't super impressed. So I'm gonna say no on these. At Walmart, we are not at Dollar Tree anymore. I found these ceramic figurines that are $3. This year when I was looking at them, I saw down here at the bottom that there were gingerbread houses. Every year we tend to do gingerbread cookie houses. This year, I thought, you know what? Heck, I'm gonna pick up three of these and we're gonna paint our gingerbread houses and we're gonna date them and keep them for years to come. Cause why not? Because we can. Well, thanks for taking this trip with me inside Dollar Tree. And hopefully there were items that you liked that you two should be keeping your eyes open for that make you feel inspired to do some DIY in this holiday season. If you're looking for some DIY inspiration today, well, guess what? You can click on the video right over here and it'll take you to some of my past favorites. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy everything on a budget. Stay happy, stay safe, stay healthy, but most of all, you know what I'm gonna say. Stay positive, please, because I sure as heck am. Bye for now, everybody.